Hey guys, uh, I want to make a quick video. I've had a few people on my Plex Facebook group asking me to make a video on this. Uh, so I'm going to make a quick video. I'm not going to go into like just massive amounts of detail here. There's really not much to it to go into any detail. Uh, nothing that you won't be able to really find out from this video. Uh, this is a Dell R710 SFF, the small form factor, which is the two and a half inch hard drives. In case you're wondering, it will also fit the thicker two and a half inch hard drives like the Western Digital Velociraptors. They will slide in there just fine. But, what you will notice from this one is a GTX 1060 SSC. And unlike some of the other YouTube videos, putting uh, video cards in these servers, this one is done... I wanted to make it look factory, like you would not be... If somebody just randomly opened this case up, they would not be able to tell that the server did not come with this. Uh, there's even one video I saw on YouTube where they've actually soldered the power into the back of this, and it just it looks absolutely terrible. Don't do that. There's much easier ways to do it than that. Like I said, this is a 1060 SSC. You can't really go much bigger than uh, what this length of card is. I forget what the length this card is, but you can't go much bigger because if we pop this off, you're really not want to get in. You're going to start hitting those. Plus, if you look at the back of this, it's going to have a lip on it, and it's right up against that. So you really can't go no longer than this. You will have to pop, let's see if I can get it, These, there's a rivet right here, and there was a rivet below this, right there. You'll have to pop those two rivets out, and then take the back plate that comes onto this riser. You can actually see the marks where I was holding it with the pliers as I was popping it off. Uh, you can put a shorter... I actually had like a, I believe a 980, I believe, before this one, and it fit in here without having to do any modifications at all. But I had a spare power supply laying around that had the same black sleeving over the cables that actually, that the power cables that came with the server done, or did. Sorry, it's like 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm starting to slur my speech here. So what I did was take that cable off the PSU, the PCI cable, put that on there, and this actually still fits through the channeling of the side of the server, so everything looks factory, and it ties in right here to the back pane. So you got one side that comes out. Goes to the hard drives, and the other side goes into the channel like all the other cables, and then comes out and around. Nothing that would make it seem like it didn't come that way from the factory. This is actually being used as a one of the transcoders for my Plex system. I have this server and another 710 that uh, are actually the uh, transcoders. But just a quick video to show you a much better way of doing this than uh, some of the other videos on YouTube are showing. Some of the other videos on YouTube are is just a massive fire hazard. And not really a good way to do it. This is a much better, much easier way to do it. You can even buy just these cables on eBay or somewhere else if you need to for a few dollars. And make it much better looking. And much safer. But uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if there's any questions, let me know. And I'll try to shoot out some more videos. Thank you.